When looking at probabilities, here are two examples of prediction tracks. For example, will I get a million views for this video? Here are my choices. I'd say yes, it's possible, chances are slim, and no way. Well, I was hoping for better, but it looks like my chances are very slim. We find that position doesn't make a difference. If we release them at the same time, they will reach the bottom together. Now, if I pull the apples back and release them at different times, we can hear them hit at different times. And if I pull them back together to the same distance and release them together, they hit together. Now, let's try pulling them back different distances, but releasing them at the same time. Once again, we hear that they're hitting together. The same is what we find on these tracks. Start at the same height and end at the same height, but their path from one side to the other is completely different. This one is a straight path. It's the shortest distance between two points, whereas this track drops down to a lower level, covers a lot of distance, and then finally comes back up again at the very end. So the question is, which track would get a ball over to the opposite side the quickest? Well, I have two steel balls here. Let's give it a try. This track drops quite a bit lower, but we still see the same results. Same idea, only this time I've added a hump in the center here. Let's see what happens with this one. We have a track that has two humps. 